Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to today's Facebook live stream. My name is Master Paul. I'm deeply honored to be connecting with each and every one of you today. It is a Thursday. It is the 27th day of September, and my, how time is flying. So for all those that are just tuning in, uh, as this is being shared in various groups and whatnot, I encourage you to remain because today we're going to be receiving lots of blessings for those that do the practice along with me. Today we're going to be focusing on receiving self-healing blessings. Why is it self-healing? Because you have to do the practice. I will walk you through it, but you do the practice. And as a result, you could receive remarkable results. And we're going to be using Da I, the greatest love. A special Tao calligraphy. I'll be offering some teaching wisdom from uh, a book called The Greatest Love and how you can apply this uh, teaching wisdom and blessings for yourself each and every day. So it's something that certainly is a wonderful thing to be able to do and you should be able to uh, get a lot of value out of today's live stream. So I encourage you to stick around if you cannot, if you have to go and take care of other responsibilities then I encourage you to like and subscribe and you will have the opportunity to watch this video <clears throat> once it's completed because there's a lot of value I get out of today. So welcome. Today is Thursday. It's 9 in the morning here in Hawaii. Last night I was out at a farmer's market and that rained on so it was a bit of a mess. <clears throat> but uh, today seems to be quite a beautiful day here in Hawaii. For some people, it's uh, later in the afternoon. For I know a lot of people, uh, it's difficult for them to come. They're at work during the day. And then for some of the students, like the India students, well, they can make it this time because of the opposite time zones. It's a good time for them. So welcome to everybody. Aloha and welcome. Sharon, welcome also to Kristen Rojas. Aloha, welcome to Tammy Hunter and Shelly. Great to see you here. Thank you, uh, Bas Van Buren. And welcome Priska. Aloha and welcome also to Sam Swaini and Morgana Zito. Welcome also to Pam Thorpe. Thank you all for coming. Thank you also for clicking on the share button. If I missed your names, probably because I couldn't see it pop up there. So today, as indicated, we'll have some fun focusing on Dao calligraphy. Uh, specifically, we'll be focusing on Da Ai, the greatest love. And I'll give a little background information on Da'ai and the greatest love, and I'll also give a little background on the nature and the power and significance of why tracing Dao calligraphy can help us to self-heal so rapidly. This morning, I received an email, <coughs> and uh, it was from a student who wants to attend my upcoming course for opening spiritual channels, but they're not in a position in which they can do so. And they were also asking for some specific guidance for their health and well-being. And so I, um, I wrote back to them, and one of the things I sent them, and one of the things that I suggested to them was to trace the Da'ai greatest love calligraphy that we're going to be doing today. And I explained to them that if they would like to uh, align to their soul's journey, which was their intention, and get a job, which was also their intention, I said, you need to connect to the divine every day, ask forgiveness, and then trace to clear the blockages. Now, whether this person has results or not is dependent upon them. Of course, they do have to do the practices, just like what we're talking about today. So welcome also to Kristen Strachan. Welcome, Cora. Thank you. Aloha and welcome to Monica. Welcome also Lori Engel and Catherine McKellar. Aloha, welcome to Pai, Herman, and also uh, Bianca. Thank you all for joining. Thank you for hitting the share button as well. So... One of the dilemmas I'm running into with Facebook, just because I'm talking out loud right now, is it says that it's going to give me the ability to share a screen. Uh, but I downloaded the app, but I don't see that ability to share a screen, which would have been great because I wanted to share the dot .i calligraphy um, in a way where you could more readily see it instead of me holding it up. Uh, but I don't see that option. So it looks like I'm going to have to work around it which is unfortunate because they offer the option, but then they don't let you see it. Let me see. Uh, 
yeah so basically they gave me the app but nothing else I can do with it okay and welcome also to pyramid Delhi which I know that's not your name but that's what your Facebook handle is so I have to refer to as pyramid Delhi so while we are waiting for other souls to gather let us go ahead and connect heart to heart soul to soul <coughs> And I will call forth the beings of light. Now, we use the four power technique, and I will use it as well in this self-healing practice. And that is body power, sound power, mind power, soul power. So body power, we could start with the prayer position. That's up to you. Master Shah uh, likes to teach us what's called a different hand mudra position, where we take the left hand and we drop it in front of the heart center. So the right hand remains pointed up. We close our eyes, and I will call forth the beings of light. Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of the divine, the Tao, and the source, all of our spiritual mothers and fathers, heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifu, saints, buddhas, and bodhisattvas, we love you, we honor you, deeply appreciate you, ask most humbly and sincerely for your presence today to offer your blessings offer your guidance and assistance in whatever way is most appropriate we are beyond grateful thank you thank you thank you dear the source soul song of love peace and harmony transmitted to all souls and all universes we love you honor you respect you we ask most humbly and sincerely for your presence and we invite all souls and all universes to come and to chant with us at this time we are extremely grateful so for any new folks coming in we do chant in my live streams, I've been doing this for two years, the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony. It is a mantra that is relatively short if we just chant one round of it, but it is also a huge blessing. You can download it at lovepeaceharmony.org, and they even have apps. Uh, you can go to the app store on your phone or your tablet and download it as well. Just look for the app called Love, Peace, and Harmony. So receive the blessing if you are new, if you would like to chant with me to offer this service of connecting heart to heart, soul to soul then please do so. <coughs> lu la lu la li lu la lu la la li lu la lu la li lu la lu la li lu la lu la li lu la Wo哀我先而立,我哀出來難離,恩理如何無許生,相愛平安的心,相愛平安的心, I love my heart, and so I love all humanity join hearts and souls together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony <laughs> how 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 thank you thank you thank you so for those that are interested in learning more about that song, you can go to lovepeaceharmony.org. It has been translated in over 40 languages, and it serves daily. People around the world chant it daily to self-heal and to offer blessings to others. People play it in their homes and offices 24-7. You would be shocked the benefits you can receive because it feng shui is your environment. So I hope you learn more about it. So welcome to everybody. Aloha. Uh, welcome also to Bianca Rochette. Welcome Pyramid. Welcome Craig Bream. Beam. Welcome Bapchaman. Welcome also to uh, Johnny Mambold. Aloha to Aspasia. Aloha and welcome also to Rachel Levy. Uh, if I missed anybody's names. Forgive me. Welcome. Thank you for coming. Thank you for sharing. So today we're going to be focusing on self-healing. Da I, the greatest love. So a little bit of background. Um, <clears throat> this is the book I'll be working from. This person in the middle is Master Shah. And 
on either side of him is Master Maya and Master Francisco. Now the book itself is called The Greatest Love. I highly recommend you get this. It's about a $10 book and you can get it from Amazon or anywhere else. And it is a nugget. It is like a little beautiful golden nugget. The beautiful part about it, aside from the wisdom in it, is you can carry it around with you. Guys can carry it in their back pocket or in their glove box, and women can carry it in their purse. No problem. It's kind of like having a magic wand. The minute you need assistance, you just pull it out, and you place it where you need it, and or you follow the practices I'm going to walk you through today, and you can receive the potential of some extraordinary results. I can't say you will receive extraordinary results because... Of course, they will vary from person to person. But the benefits could be extraordinary. Now, the variable is this. The wisdom that my teacher and spiritual father, Master Shah, brings to humanity is that <clears throat> if we're suffering, whether it's a physical or a mental or an emotional suffering, there is a root cause. It's a very simple uh, observation that uh, there's the cause of law, uh, of the, the law of cause and effect. And, you know, what has been done unto others returns unto us. You do good deeds, you receive good services and good values and good, uh, and good benefits. If you do or offer wrong services, wrong deeds, well, guess what? So it's pretty simple math. It's not like it's rocket science. It's most of the belief systems out there teach the same wisdoms. The difference is this master uh, gives us some solutions and some tools. And this is one of the great values and why I appreciate Master Shaw is he empowers humanity to self-heal. And within the, the, the books and, the, and everything else that he has delivered to humanity, he places extraordinary power. What is that power that he places in there? Well, in this case, he places the divine's love. What is the divine's love? It is the love of our creator at the frequency of our creator. My frequency, your frequency, an animal's frequency, a bird's frequency, a tree's frequency, very different than that of the Creator. The Creator's frequency is the highest, purest love. And so to be able to uh, deliver that kind of, of power to, to something like a book or an image such as doc calligraphy is certainly not normal by any stretch of the imagination. It's what gives the person the name of Dr. and Master Shah. He's respected around the world, a well-known uh, philanthropist, uh, New York Times best-selling author, 11 times New York Times best-selling author, and four of those have been reached number one. So you don't get there accidentally. You get there because you've earned the right to be there through your service to humanity, through the wisdom that you bring, and through the power that you can consistently deliver to ensure that people uh, are confident in the abilities of what you're saying you can do. So in this case, Master Shaw brought to humanity about five years ago, Tao calligraphy. What is Tao calligraphy? Well, here's a few examples. These are some Tao calligraphy cards. This one is Da Guang Ming, Greatest Light. This one is <coughs> Da Tsebei, The Greatest Compassion. This one is uh, Da Chenbei, Greatest Humility. This one is the one we're going to be using today, Da Ai, The Greatest Love. So, there are many more, but each one of these, you might notice the greatest love, the greatest light, the greatest compassion. There is a theme here. They are the greatest qualities that a human being can embody. So why is that relevant to today's self-healing? Welcome, Sorcha. Welcome also, Marcy. Uh, welcome to everyone else whose name I might have missed. Thank you for coming. Self-healing is a process through which we reverse those things that have created suffering for us. How do we reverse it? We reverse it by applying the greatest wisdoms. Love melts all blockages. This is a one-sentence secret Master Shah has brought to humanity. It's laced throughout each of his books. Love melts all blockages. <clears throat> what is the highest frequency in all creation? Ta da love. But your love and my love is not quite the same as the divine's love. So love can have layers. Love can have frequencies. It has been documented by science that frequencies can heal us or hurt us. So we already know that frequencies can be very valuable. What Master Shah does is he places within these beautiful strokes of art 
the frequencies of what has been written. So it's the frequency of the greatest forgiveness or the frequency of the greatest love or the frequency of the greatest light. Now, right now, these are just words and explanations. You know, you have no idea, especially if you're new, if this is even possible. It just sounds cute. Um, but one of the beautiful things about working with this is it's, if it's uh, self-validates. Okay, All you have to do is go get the book and self-validate. Follow these practices and self-validate. You don't have to believe in anything that's being said here self-validate see if it works master Shah would say if you want to know if a pear is sweet taste it if you want to know if something works you have to do it to practice it then you'll know for sure so this is the base wisdom so um, this book can be purchased at Amazon any of the other places online like I said it's only 10 bucks and inside here is the wisdom I'll be working with and also inside here is a calligraphy this calligraphy has been blessed. It is priceless. People do not understand how priceless it is. Aspasi asks, where can we get the cards? Um, you can get them from the centers. Any of the centers have the ability to sell them. Uh, I can also get them for you. Um, but private message me, and I'll share with you how to acquire those. <clears throat> okay. So what is Tao calligraphy? It is a medium through which... Blessings can be delivered. That's what Tao calligraphy is. What Tao calligraphy looks like is this. It's a form of calligraphy, which is a oneness calligraphy, one stroke. Yibitsa is what it's called in Mandarin Chinese. Yi, one, bitsa, one stroke calligraphy. And so uh, in this one stroke calligraphy is the oneness of all life. Power is then infused in it, and you have the uniqueness of Tao calligraphy. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply the four power technique and we're going to work on a several different areas that most of us have. For example, all of us have some levels of anger. We also have some possibilities of anxiety and depression. We also have some other issues, possibly spine pain or, or other issues like that. So we're going to work on those today with this Yibitsa calligraphy. And so... In order to accomplish that, we apply the other wisdoms. Welcome, Patty. <clears throat> and the other wisdoms are the four power technique. So if you do this practice, you just pick up a calligraphy or a book and you start tracing it, you'll get some benefits, no doubt about it. If you employ the four power technique, your benefits could be 100-fold increased. So highly recommend you employ the four power technique. Welcome also to Yogesh Kumar. So how do we employ the four power technique along with the Tao source calligraphy of Da I, the greatest love? The first one is your body power. Okay. Now in this case, because you're going to be tracing, your, your body power will be one palm over your message center. The other palm, you're going to hold your fingers up and you're going to touch all five fingers together like this. These five fingers touching together uh, connect the five elements these also the five elements connect to our organs our systems our emotions it basically creates a huge amount of balance all in one movement <clears throat> the frequencies that have been blessed into the cards let me go ahead and hold up the dot i card the frequencies that have been blessed into the card are extraordinary frequencies and so when you trace them what's happening the positive energy within comes to you and blesses your request. That's the body power. The next one is sound power. Sound power is what you chant, is what you become. It's probably the least understood and greatest wisdom that you can remember today. Why do I say that? What you chant is what you become. Least understood, greatest wisdom. Because for centuries, for literally uh, 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 eons of time those that chant the same thing over and over and over eventually literally become the energetics of that so if you chanted God 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 God's light God's light you could become God's light it's a very sage wisdom why what's the wisdom see no evil speak no evil hear no evil think no evil if your entire thought is on God's light in this example 
are you thinking evil are you seeing evil are you doing anything that is bringing in negativity you are in essence purifying your beingness at the highest level so sound power what you chant is what you become is an extremely important wisdom and when you apply that with the other three powers you have extraordinary results so we are going to chant the mantra associated with this da i the greatest love and you will hear that as we chant <clears throat> the, th the third power is our mind power creative visualization now since our eyes are going to be open it's going to be not so easy for us to visualize but we can relatively easy visual visualize the light and frequencies and energies coming off the calligraphy and coming to us and surrounding our body with light certainly we can do that we're also going to have one hand on our heart center so we can visualize light behind our heart center clearing the blockages for our requests okay so that would be your creative visualization so body power touch our five fingers together one hand in the heart center sound power we're going to be chanting da i the greatest love and tracing the calligraphy which i will hold up for you mind power we're going to visualize golden light coming to us and now the most important power soul power welcome angela Byrne. welcome also to yogesh and welcome lynette <clears throat> soul power is by far the least known and most important of the four powers it is the recognition that there are inner souls and outer souls so you're going to choose the areas that you want to offer blessings for. I'm going to walk you through a couple of self-healings here. We'll do one for anger example, and we'll do one for depression and anxiety, and we'll do one for any condition. Okay, we'll do three different ones, and I will walk you through those. And when you get to uh, the one that, that's open choice, back up one more page here. When we get to the one that's open choice, then you would apply the soul power for that now soul power what is it inner souls anger has associations for example with the liver so anger has a soul it's trying to teach us a lesson the liver has a soul uh, everything everyone and everything has the divine living in it the divines in every speck of energy and matter Therefore, everything has the soul of the divine in it. This is a very high-level speck of wisdom that is important to grasp onto. So when we do soul power, we are connecting to the inner souls, the soul of the condition of depression, the soul of the condition of anger. When we get to your own choice, it could be the soul of your finances, or it could be the soul of your business, or it could be the soul of your, your broken heart, or whatever it is that's important to you to do self-healing for. Everything has a soul. Then there are outer souls, which we called forth at the very beginning. Mother Mary, Jesus, Buddha, Kuan Yin, Krishna, Muhammad, all of these beings of light, God, of course, we invite their souls to assist us. So soul power is connecting to the inner souls and the outer souls. This is the higher wisdom. Okay? So let us do this together. <clears throat> I will walk us through the four powers, and then I will hold up the uh, dot I card and then you will trace it with me all right so we start again whatever position is comfortable for you this is the prayer position I like putting my hand in the soul light soul service hand position which is the left hand in front of the heart center you do whatever is comfortable for you <clears throat> close your eyes and follow this practice with me as I lead you into the four powers <clears throat> dear my beloved divine creator repeat if it is comfortable for you I love you I honor you I deeply appreciate you I wish to sincerely apologize my beloved divine creator for any of the mistakes that I or my ancestors may have made that has led to any suffering that I may have experienced <clears throat> I wish to apologize to any of the souls that I may have caused to have anger I wish to apologize to any of the souls that I may have created the conditions of depression or anxiety. I wish to apologize to any of the souls. And now, what is your choice? You choose <clears throat> what you're going to get do uh, healing for and ask forgiveness for causing that suffering upon others. In other words, if you're going to ask for healing for finances or a health issue, 
and ask forgiveness if you have ever caused that suffering upon others. Continue. I deeply apologize whatever harm I may have created upon others. I ask you, my beloved divine creator, I ask the soul of the blessings placed within the Da I, greatest love calligraphy, to please bless me to clear these blockages of anger, depression, and my specific request as appropriate. You always say as appropriate. Offer your gratitude. I am very, very grateful. Thank you. Now we check with the inner souls and the outer souls. Continue to repeat. Dear this soul of this condition of anger that I may have had in this life, any conditions of depression that I may have had in this life, you have the power to heal yourself. You have the power to release these blockages. You have the power to convert yourself to love light and happiness do a good job this is talking to the inner souls you can also talk to the soul of the specific condition dear the soul of the condition of state the condition that you want to receive healing for I love you you have the power to reverse your condition you have the power to bring about the highest and best results for me do a good job now we talk to the outer souls dear God dear the source dear all the beings of light including the angels healing angels archangels the masters the ascended masters gurus Lama Sifu Saints dear beloved Jesus and Mother Mary dear beloved Buddha dear beloved Kuan Yin dear beloved Krishna Muhammad all of those serving the planet of the light side I love you honor you and appreciate you I ask most humbly, most sincerely, that any blessings you wish to offer for my request, I am grateful to receive. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is connecting with the outer souls. Now, you will open your eyes, and I will hold this calligraphy card up for you. And you will simply <coughs> trace it. And put your five fingers together like this. Remember, all five fingers together. And we will chant together. Let us begin. <clears throat> da I da I. Da I da I. Connect with me on the card. Repeat after me. Dear the soul of this Da I greatest love Tao calligraphy card to the soul of all of the blessings within this special card I love honor and appreciate you could you please offer me a blessing for the condition of anger we're going to do that one first okay <clears throat> thank you thank you thank you let us continue Da I 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 die. Greatest love, greatest love, greatest love, greatest. Love, greatest love. Da I die. 
Dai da ai Dai da ai Dai da ai Dai da Greatest love, greatest love, greatest love, greatest love. And now repeat after me. Dear the soul of this most precious Da I treasure. All of the blessings transmitted within this Da I calligraphy card. As I trace you, could you please bless me to release the blockages associated with depression? I am very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Da I Da I Da I Da Da I Da I Da I Da I Greatest Love Unconditional Love Melts all blockages purifies my heart and soul. Trace with your heart. Da I da I da I da I da I. I die, greatest love, unconditional love, melts all blockages purifies my heart and soul and now you can request the specific request for you repeat dear the beloved divine i love you on you appreciate you can you please bless my specific request? Name one area which you'd like blessings for. And then connect to the Da'ai card. Dear the soul of all the blessings within this Da'ai card, please bless this most important condition. Bring me the results as quickly as possible, as appropriate. I am so grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Trace the card with your five fingers touching. Let us continue. Da I 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 Da Greatest love, unconditional love, melts all blockages, purifies my heart and soul. 
Eishur da 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 Greatest love, unconditional love, melts all blockages, purifies my heart and soul. Da I da I da Greatest love Unconditional love melts all blockages, purifies my heart and soul. Greatest love, unconditional love. Greatest love, greatest love. Two more minutes. Isher dai, wu Continue to trace with your heart. Greatest love, greatest love. Isher dai, wu Greatest love, unconditional love, melts all blockages. Purifies my heart and soul. It's important to honor all of the beings of light who have come to offer their service. So we say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Countless bow downs, countless bow downs, countless, countless bow downs. So, if anyone experienced anything there, they can share. They could have experienced heat, vibration, uh, third eye images. Uh, maybe the condition you requested has had some uh, measurable results. You can post that information. It's always good to see those results. And this particular card that I used has been blessed by Master Shah. It carries a higher frequency than the... Uh, cards normally would and so you all got definitely much higher blessings than you normally would so extremely extremely blessed <clears throat> and so Safira commented on what she sees in the uh, calligraphy it stands for da I which means the greatest love and it's basically Chinese characters 
that are all brought together in one stroke. <clears throat> Most Chinese characters are a series of strokes and cuts and slashes. And so this is all one stroke calligraphy. So watch from the beginning and it'll help make a lot more sense. So as a reminder to everybody, this book, The Greatest Love, is a golden nugget. It carries not only huge wisdom, but huge blessings. And uh, certainly enough power to self-heal and to offer blessings to those that you care about. I do recommend you consider getting it. I'm not trying to sell you a book. I'm trying to assist you to self-heal. It's only $10 and it's by far worth it. And in there is the uh, dot eye calligraphy, uh, identical to the one that I just traced in its functionality. <clears throat> so I see a couple of comments here. Uh, Shelly says, emotional and tears. Wonderful. Rachel Levy says, this was beautiful, very relaxing. Thank you for sharing, Rachel. Uh, Shelly says she traced this blessed book. And Sam Swingham, uh, he feels like he's been returned to his natural state of being after uh, a such high frequency. Feels replenished and grateful for the blessings. Wonderful. And Kristen, thank you. Kristen has dropped a link in uh, if you wanted to see more about the book. Up to you. But, um, this is really as simple as healing can be. You know, a lot of people think that they have to go uh, get medical treatments and, 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 and get, you know, um, college degrees and master degrees and whatnot to bring abundance or to heal. And although these are very relevant in today's society, certainly don't ignore them. You need to go see a doctor, go see a doctor. You want to get a master's degree, get a master's degree. But recognize that everything has a source, everything has a cause. The law of cause and effect is very simple. If you have flourishing in your life, if your health is flourishing, your relationships are flourishing, your finances are flourishing, guess what? You've earned that. I don't mean you've earned it in that you went out and got your MBAs. I mean that you have earned it by being a good and valuable person to society. There are those that are suffering. And that means that we've also earned that. That means that somewhere along the line, we weren't as beautiful people as we are today. That we may have made some errors or mistakes in previous times. And they've come back to bring us some suffering. So the wisdom is clear the suffering, self-heal, deal with things at the level of origination, deal with things at the level of soul. The soul is the carrier of all of our messages, which means it's the carrier of all of our experiences of pleasant and unpleasant services. So in order to clear the unpleasant services, we must serve, make others happier and healthier. We must uh, do things that bring higher frequency, positive energies to offset lower frequencies and negative energies. Financial suffering is negative energies. Pain is negative energies. We need to apply positive energies, good energies. And that's what the greatest love brings. And that's why the frequencies placed within these Tao calligraphies are extraordinary. All you have to do, literally all you have to do is follow the suggestions in the book and trace about 30 minutes a day, 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there. For some people that's almost an impossible request because they don't grasp the value of it. They just say, oh, I don't have time, blah, blah, blah. Okay, then you must really enjoy the suffering. But if your suffering reaches a point where you're just sick and tired of it, this is the highest and best solution. Hopefully you don't get there. Hopefully you are uh, wiser to do something sooner than get to the point where you have no other choice. So I'd like to offer my deepest gratitude to Master Shah for bringing this very simple sage wisdom, but more importantly, bringing solutions to humanity, helping people to self-heal. For I'd love to give my gratitude to him for empowering me to teach this wisdom to you. And my gratitude to Facebook for making it free to serve you. I'll read a few more comments and then uh, then I'll sign off for today. Cora says, thank you so much for this powerful practice. I had to force myself to keep my eyes open. So much heat in her hands. Wonderful. That's a good sign. Aspasi felt very uh, peaceful. Shelly, most grateful. Dama, wonderful. Welcome, Valerie. Uh, you missed quite a bit. Please return. Watch the beginning uh, when this becomes a video in a few minutes. And Monica, very warm, hot, tired. Pain level in the stomach was a 20. Now it's a zero or a six. Uh, congratulations on that, Monica. And Prisca says, thank you. You're very welcome, everybody. So 
These kinds of sufferings can be directly impacted with the greatest love. Continue to trace, continue to practice. Uh, for those that came in late, watch the recordings. It will be available in just a few minutes. So we say thank you and love you, and then respectfully return three times. Thank you, thank you, thank you, love you, love you, love you. All the beings of light respectfully return. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Bye-bye, everybody. We'll see you later.